and happy Friday. It is December 4th today and I took a half day at work because the Bo and I are going to the Toronto Christmas market tonight. Plus I gotta do some errands. I have some things that I need to return and um, some things that I need to pick up. I also wanted to show you guys my last Black Friday order from Zara because it arrived yesterday. I haven't had much luck with the items that I've purchased at Zara lately. This order consisted of four things, a pair of shoes, a knit dress, a knit skirt, and then also a wool coat. And I think I'm going to definitely be keeping the shoes. I actually have them back here, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys the coat that I got. And I've decided I'm not going to keep it. Um, I'll show you guys once I have it on. So this is a coat, and I really like the color. I also like the style of it, and I like how it's not too um, tight around the shoulders, because this is a coat that I can pop over a blazer and it will likely work fine. I decided to go for a small in this coat, mainly because of that whole reason I wanted to wear it more as an overcoat however it is kind of ginormous around the waist the small is definitely too big so I'm thinking I might just get the extra small in this coat and just pony up the full price for it I really do like the style of this coat though um, I like the kind of straight masculine oversized feel but it's a little bit too big even when it's like done up it kind of you have like a lot of wiggle room in there these are the shoes that I picked up from Zara I like them because they are a blue color and I don't own really like a blue pair of heels and these were only I think $39.99 and then 30% off they're not real leather or real suede but that's okay they're just kind of like a simple kind of shoe to wear at work this is the skirt that I picked up I liked it because it is a kind of knit material it's not really knit actually it's like a viscose and nylon concoction but I like the silhouette of it and um, I love this kind of heathered gray color so I thought I would quickly show you guys my outfit before I head out um so this is actually the dress that I picked up from Zara. It's just a knit dress. I really like it. It was quite inexpensive and I like the material. It's very sturdy. It's not flimsy. And uh, this is my coat that I'm wearing. It's from Guests. I got it last year, but they have a similar one, similar style this year. It's just a bit of more of a, I think more of a wine color. And uh, then I'm just wearing these boots that I got from Browns years ago and then knee-high socks from Joe Fresh. Before I go meet the bow, I thought I would pick up the purchase that I made at Indigo. I had it sent to the store because Indigo has like $25 for free shipping, but my purchase was under that, so I didn't want to like buy something else just to get the $25. So I just had it sent to the store and uh, I picked it up and uh, I'm gonna open it right now. This is what it looks like. I just thought it was so cute. Um, it's a, It was originally $25, but um, I got it for like 15, I think.
happy Sunday. I didn't properly end Friday night's vlog um, because I just had so much fun with friends. So we went to the Toronto Christmas park market. It was really good. We didn't eat a lot while we were there. We just kind of browsed around and looked at, looked at some shops and then we had dinner at a sushi place for a friend's birthday. We just left the mall and uh, now we're heading to my mom's so I can help her with um, some snacks that she's bringing to this like party thing and um, yeah I wanted to show you guys what I picked up at Sephora because they had the um, VIB or it's actually for any um, Sephora membership card but they had the loyalty reward um, gift card on again so since I am unfortunately a VIB Rouge I got $25 off um, a $50 purchase I figured I would get the most bang for my buck and get two things and I tried to keep it as close to $50 as I could so I could take advantage of the $25 so essentially I got pretty much like 50% off my purchase these are the two items that I picked up this this is the Bare Minerals Rose Radiance. It is like an all over face powder, but um, I use it more as a blush. I previously owned, this is one of the only things I've actually repurchased in my life, <laughs> makeup product wise. It's one of the handful of things. Um, but my last one, my mom actually has, and she's had it for a while now, so I figure she likes it. So I'm not gonna bother to ask for it back. I just picked up a new one. But it's just like a loose powder, and it's in a kind of a rosy pink color. And it has a bit of a shimmer to it, but it looks so pretty on. And then I also picked up this Bite Beauty High Pigment Lip Pencil. And um, I really like Bite Beauty lip products. This is in the color Rhubarb, which is a very pretty My Lips But Better color. So this is what the lip pencil looks like. It is, like I said, a My Lips But Better color. And I really like these Bite um, Beauty lip pencils because it actually has a twist up. You don't have to sharpen it, so. That's one of the things I love about it. Also made a quick stop at Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, one of the things I got was the isopropyl alcohol. And this is to de disinfect my um, Clarisonic brush heads after I use them because if you don't, gunk can kind of build up on them. So I picked this up. I am planning to decant it into a spray bottle because it's a bit easier than, you know, pouring this out like this. Two makeup bits, kind of. One is this nail polish from Essence. It is in the Nudes collection. It's number three, I'm Lost in You. And I just thought this was like a really pretty kind of brownie nude color. On my nails right now is uh, Topless and Barefoot from Essie. And uh, I just like that color. The other makeup thing that I picked up is this rice powder from uh, Bourgeois. So it is for the limited edition packaging is um, for the 150th anniversary of, I don't know if it's this product or if it's Bourgeois, um, but this is, I think the official name is um, Illuminizing Powder. I ripped off the um, Shoppers Drug Mart sticker on the back. So it kind of took half the label with it, but that's what it says. But my mom actually picked this up and uh, I asked her one day what she was wearing because her face looks so illuminized, but she, her skin just looks so like fresh and, and glowing. So I asked her what she was wearing and she said it was this. So I'm excited to use it. Back home now and I thought I would do a quick outfit of the day before I change into pajamas. This is what I wore today and uh, all I did was some errands and then went to visit my mom. But uh, I wanted to show you guys my outfit because this is the skirt that I picked up from Zara. I wanted to show you guys, I guess, it in action. This is what the outfit looks like without the leather jacket, which by the way is from Zara. This whole outfit is essentially Zara. This is a sweater that I picked up during the spring sale earlier this year. Um, it's just a double v-neck, so it's like a v-neck on both sides, a deep v. And then this is the skirt that I just picked up during the Black Friday sale. I really like it actually. Um, it is high-waisted, so it goes up a little bit, but that's fine. It doesn't bother me. And um, it is, as you can see, kind of on the shorter side, so definitely not something I would wear to work because 
it's a bit short. This is the whole outfit here. I'm wearing it with flats because it is unseasonably warm this winter so far, at least this December. But that's my outfit. Quick little tree update. As you can see, we don't have a topper yet for our tree. I did pick up a star, but um, it doesn't fit well. It's too heavy, I think. Um, but this is how our tree looks with all of the ornaments. I picked up these monogrammed ornaments from Chapters. They are just little pieces of wood and they have an initial on both sides. So that's that one's for the bow and then the A for me. And uh, I just like it. I feel like I need a few more ornaments or just some like filler of some sort, but I'm happy with the amount of ornaments that are on right now. These ones are probably my favorite. I just love them. They're so pretty and sparkly. Another little holiday update is our stockings. These stockings are from Chapters again. And um, this one is mine, the red one, and then this one is the bows green. I just thought it'd be fun to have two different ones. I just really like these knit stockings. They're really well made and and, um, they'll probably last a while and they just look really nice and festive with the deers and the holiday things on them. This little mini stocking the bow got um, at his work last Christmas so I just kind of attached it to the bigger stocking. It's not a very large stocking so it's hard to fill it so I just kept it because the bow likes that it has his initial on it and I just attached it to the bigger stocking which we'll actually use to fill things and I actually already dropped something in here. I'm going to end this vlog here I think. I'm not doing anything super exciting for the rest of the evening. Just gonna relax because it's Sunday night. Tomorrow's Monday so obviously I have to go to work tomorrow. Actually speaking of work I'm gonna show you guys a couple things that I picked up for um, this work potluck that my department is having. So it's not for a couple weeks. It's on the Friday the 18th, December 18th. And um, essentially we're just having like a one big lunch potluck kind of thing and everyone can bring something if they want to. So I'm gonna bring pasta as like my main potluck thing and then I'm also going to set up a hot chocolate drink bar. Um, so I'm gonna show you some of the things that I picked up for it. So I haven't gotten any of the accoutrements, so like the marshmallows and the chocolate chips and things like that, but I did pick up the hot chocolate. So I thought I would go with a K-cup for the hot chocolate because I feel like it's a bit more convenient and um, you know I was thinking of the like powdered hot chocolate but then it's kind of a hassle you have to like constantly be boiling water and I thought this was just really easy and we have a Keurig machine in the office so it's like perfect there are a lot of hot chocolate k-cups out there and um, so I had to do some research because I've never actually had a k-cup hot chocolate I've always just used the like carnation powdered one because I don't know that's my preference um, but this one was the most highly rated one so I decided I did pick this up. I just picked up a box of 24. So I picked this up at a store that just sells K-Cups. That's all they sell. They sell them in individuals and also boxes. So I'm not sure where else like mainstream like a Zares or another grocery store where you can find this but um, that's where I got mine. I picked up this little cute decoration at the dollar store, totally overpriced if you ask me, like $2, what? But um, I thought this would be cute to like write what the accoutrements are for the hot chocolate bar, so I'd put like marshmallows or chocolate chips on this, and it just acts as like a little name tag for what the items are, so I thought that was cute. I will show you guys the final result of my hot chocolate drink bar. It'll be a couple of weeks because I mean it's uh, two Fridays from now. Um, but I just want to share with you guys my idea in case maybe you're looking for ideas for like a holiday potluck. No one really ever thinks about the drinks in my past experience at potlucks. The drinks just kind of either someone remembers to bring it and it's like a, a bottle of soda or it just gets completely forgotten. And I just thought hot chocolate was just a really nice Christmas or wintry themed drink idea. Anyway, that's it for this vlog. I will be posting kind of random sporadic vlogs throughout the holiday season as we go along. Uh, so this will be my second one. My first one I will link below in case you missed it. And uh, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Bye.